everyone, it's Greta and welcome back to another video on Simply Gretzky. Today I'm going to be doing the video that I promised all of you guys and that was my question and answer video. And also please don't mind the humongous um, zit I have on my face. Um, yeah teenage problems so so I'm really hoping to answer all of your questions and if you have any more just comment them down below and I will respond to them and anyways I really hope you guys enjoy make sure to like comment and subscribe let's get started and the first question is by Victoria and she asked would I ever want to be homeschooled yes because it would give me more time to do skating and gymnastics but um, I would not like to be homeschooled because then I miss out on things like proms graduations field trips and those fun things that you only experience during like high school and um, grade school. Jump and spin. My favorite jump is a double flip and an axle and my favorite spin is a cannonball and a flying camel. The next question is by Claudia Skates and she asked where do you live and what rink do you skate at? Um, I'm obviously not going to give out my address but I live on the east coast of the United States and I skate at two different ranks, one more than the other as of right now. I skate at Body Zone and I also skate at the University of Delaware. And she asked, how long did it take to get your axle and when did you land it? So um, it took me three half hour lessons to get my axle. It was really quick for me to learn an axle. Um, and I landed it when I was, I think, 10 or 11. This question is by Ruby and she asked, what skill took you the longest to get? Definitely a kip on bars. They took me forever. But I will show you a quick axle drill. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand this way and you're gonna have your knee back and bent like this and then you're gonna bring it up through and then you're gonna hold on to something and then jump and then lock and straighten and then pull your arms in tight like this. Another different Lizzie asked, um, what is my favorite subject in school? My favorite subject is science and spelling, and here's a plaque I won first place at a spelling bee for, so. She also asked, do you plan on going to the Olympics for gymnastics or skating? Um, those aren't exactly my goals for my future. I want to be good at both of them, like maybe go to like nationals or like sectionals, regionals for like, and for gymnastics, maybe like go to states, win a couple medals, and like win maybe like a state title and something at gymnastics for state championships, but I don't don't really want to go to the Olympics. I just want to have fun making videos for Instagram, be successful on YouTube, and yeah. Priscilla Alpaca asked, can I get a Hoya? Um, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I'll say hi because it looks like it's Hoya, so hi. Lizzie, this is a different Lizzie. She asked, um, who is my inspiration? Um, this one's kind of hard. I have a lot of people who I look up to. Um, depending, like, if they're if they're like really good at gymnastics, really good at skating, I'll be like, oh my god, I look up to them so Sophie much. Sophie asked, gym or skating? Um, this is a really hard. Well, it depends on my mood actually, and what like mood I am in, and like what I feel like doing. Um, today I felt in the gymnastics mode. Other days I feel in the skating mode. It's really hard for me to pick. Skating comes a little bit easier to me than gymnastics does because I'm tall for gymnastics, so I'm sorry, I cannot answer that because I love them both. Deidre asked level, um, I'm preliminary training pre juvenile and competing at regionals. I hope to. Liv asked, how old were you when you started skating? I was nine. And my worst fail, um, my worst fail was probably when I learned my double sow cow and I had a mental block on it and I fell like right on my side and like I didn't even wasn't even up straight and for gymnastics it was probably um, doing a pike on and I landed with my arms like this on the bar I like went over it and landing on my tailbone on my series on beam. Kyler asked press handstand tips. Um, definitely you want to make sure your shoulders are leaning over your hands or else you won't be able to make it up and you also want to make sure your head's kind of like sticking out and not tucked in. Tuck it in like after you get up into the handstand. Violet asked how often do you skate? Um, during the summer I skate about three or four times a week and during the school year it's kind of less than that. it's probably about two. Alright so you guys those are all the questions I'm going to be answering today. I am doing a part two just because my phone runs out of storage if I make videos over like five minutes it's really annoying. So um, I'm just going to end it here and I'm going to be doing a part two as soon as possible so I really hope you guys enjoyed part one. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Bye!